Welcome to the Narrowboat at James Bill. Hope you're very well. Thanks for joining me. Well, this morning I got a phone call from um, my gas man, Dale, uh, who said that on Monday he is going to come in and finish off the gas install. So um, today is about making sure that it's all ready for, the, for him on Monday. So the important thing that I've got to do is bring the gas locker over from where the boat used to be to where the boat is now. Um, there's two ways of doing that, as you well know, by foot or by boat. So I'm going to opt for the latter. Um, it's uh, more labour intensive, but much more fun. So I'm going to do that. Um, once it's on board, I need to drill the holes to put it through its braces on the feet um, and then put in the skin fitting uh, through the bulkhead ready for Dale just to put in the, uh, the pipes, rig it all up, connect in my hobs and then um, and then I can start cooking which would be brilliant. Obviously I've done a couple of things on the stove but it's a bit of a rigmarole as you know. Um, so yeah, the, I'm really looking forward to the gas coming which will be great. And it's my, um, yeah, it's my birthday next weekend so I'm hoping that uh, I'll kind of yeah, it'd be nice to kind of make a birth. I mean, it's only me, but it'd be nice to make a birthday dinner um, and have something other than just <laughs> lamb chops. So um, yeah, that'd be good. Um, my plan will be to make a spag bowl on the hobs for my birthday dinner next weekend. That's the plan, and a bottle of wine at the dinette. Yeah, that'd be good. And then sleep in a proper bed. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a bit to do today to do that. Um, I also want to carry on kind of cleaning the outside of the boat. Um, now it's, it's kind of easy to access now. Uh, so yeah, just want to kind of clean all that down a bit. Um, the boards in the deck area need obviously a lot of attention, um, but Paul and John and I are working out some ways of making, make, of making some uh, channels for the rainwater to come down obviously it's been raining here actually a couple of days now uh, there was a lot the other day the bilge filled with water again um, so it is a priority it's no big deal it empties out it's all nice and clean it's just rainwater um, so it's not like it used to be but yeah still that is a uh, that's a necessity to sort out but yeah so there's still quite a lot to do but it's all about the gas now I don't know why I put this in but these lambs were born on, I think, Tuesday. And uh, so they're kind of three days old and they're really cute. And their noise wakes me up in the morning. So uh, it's rather pleasant. You top all of them with channels. Oh, no, no. Running into that outside channel. I just don't... Or channel Are you here. talking about actually making a channel into the, into the steel? No, no, no. Welding channel. So that we get, so like the channel that we just bought for we're doing the boat we're doing on the front so basically channel going back there Paulie like we're doing on channel going back where back to there yeah you could top that back you could to top there. that with channel yeah that's what I meant as, as, as long as it overlapped into that gutter it would do the same job yeah so top that with channel top that with channel and have one going across here I mean it could be easier than what you thought you could get them bits of channel and you could just drill an hole in them like a length of channel, like the they drill six holes in it and just pull, just pull weld them to it. Probably be quick. Still a fair old bit of work there, yeah, but is it? Because it's you. It's because it's all got to be all got to be joined up and like like the middle is where they intersect and stuff. It's yeah. got to be got to be water tight in it. Otherwise, you completely void having having the draining deck there. Because my issue, I don't think I'm going to get a pram hood until probably well autumn. Money, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Well, Two grand right around here, Paul. Would it flow around or? Well, it would well, need that to be. Is it, what it's supposed to be for. I mean, originally it's supposed to, the rain's supposed to hit the deck, but with the deck being sort of more or less one piece, run off of the edge of the deck into channel. that gutter, and that should have. I mean, that gutter's, mo that gutter's probably 75% okay, John. It needs a few little spots where Paul will need to weld it, but it's, it's, it's okay. We'll have a look at it. Would be good though. Yeah, we'll have a look at it. Yeah, I've seen oh, I would save you oh, so much boring. Okay. Well, it would do a bit. It would do a bit. <clears throat>
gas locker is safely on the dry land ish um, the other box of stuff I brought over was some stuff that came with the boat um, and now I'm on the side here like this boat's got as you can see look they've got these kind of thin fenders to uh, stop it rubbing against the, uh, the side and that's what I need because well certainly at that end it's rubbing and bashing about so there's a nice way of getting these to hang a crap way I'm going to uh, opt for the crap way just tie it onto this in a moment obviously I haven't read that book on knots yet so I'm going to tie it on like a child would fall in by the time I turn around I'm guessing there's a tire there that's quite useful I'll put one right at this end need some longer rope and some better rope for these these are they'll hate this type of rope this one down here not in the way of the hatch I'll keep knocking over my milk in here. A couple of windlasses, crap ones there. Not like the one that John got me with the uh, handle on a um, on a bearing. That's much better. And some bits and pieces to tie me on to the Arnco. locker let's get that on Okay, so I haven't looked at all of the book, but I've certainly studied one knot so that I can tie up Narrowboat Hands' boat back and uh, try to surprise him with this. So yeah, there's one there's one knot in that book so far, Chris, that I've mastered, or tried to at least. This is the rope that, this is the knot that he uses to tie it up with, I think. But I've learned this in that book, Chris, that you gave me. Look at that. That's well, well, he's gonna be well surprised by that. Then all he's gotta do is give it a tug when he gets on and all of them come undone. Happy days. Well, I've been sent a whole load of goodies um, and some of them in really good time in readiness for the gas man to come. Um, so, and Carol has sorted me out good and proper. I've got a pan, a little small pan for the hobs. Uh, I've got a book on how to steam stuff. 
It looks mostly like vegetables, but uh, there's other things in there as well. So that's cool. Um, yeah, it's got a note from Carol. So glad kettle and steamer arrived, okay. Um, some other bits to help. Beer and biscuits to follow. Well, thanks Carol. I think I've got some of your biscuits. I've literally got like a mountain of biscuits now. Uh, I'm not complaining because uh, they, get, they get through it, but uh, really enjoying the blogs and updates. Good luck with the lift, oh, thank you. Uh, take care, stay safe from Carol V. Thank you, my love, that's very kind of you. Some other bits that have come today. Oh, here we go. This looks like the Collins Nicholson Guides. It is Birmingham and the heart of England. That's good, that's where I kind of am now. Grand Union, Oxford and the South East, that's where I'm going. And a whole map of the inland waterways. That is amazing. Oh, brilliant, there's a note. What clever sod's done this. Peter Watson. Hi James, glad you're safely in the water. Best of luck with finishing the fit out and I hope these spur you on. Cheers from Peter. They really will. Thank you, mate. These and Collison, uh, Collins Nicholson are the guides to have. So that is brilliant. Loads of really good information in them. So uh, thank you so much. That is uh, that's really kind of you, Peter. And another one. From John, congratulations getting the boat in the water. You're getting near to London, thought you might need this. Thank you so much, John. Well, in fairness, two of the London ones, there's no bad thing because they are well used and knowing me, I'll probably lose one of them. So having two is, uh, is excellent. So thank you guys. And last but no means least, Oh, I reckon I know who this is from. Oh, that's falling in the cup. There we go. Safe. Enjoy your gift. Eat, drink and be merry. Well, thank you. It's a... Uh, it's a water container. That's really useful, actually, because of um, yeah, the, the the two kettle system was a bit of a pain in the ass. So, uh, Chris, mate, thank you for looking out for me. You're a star. Right. Well, that's it. I'm back to London for the weekend. Um, kids' duty and all. And uh, but I'll be back on Sunday. Hope you have a good weekend. Until then, look after yourselves. Bye bye. Bye bye boat.